How's it going on this great fall day, guys? I know I'm a little late, but I thought I'd talk about some of the achievements that we're gonna see in the new extinction mode for Call of Duty Ghosts. The first one is called No Man Left. Escape with all four players, which it's a one to four player co-op game, so that makes complete sense. Sprinter, reach the X-File chopper with one minute and 30 seconds or more remaining on the clock. So, Besides it ending, the game can end instead of going all the whole time like zombies. Now we have a clock, which makes things a little more interesting, especially when you find out what the rest of these are if you don't know already. Made it out alive, escape the first time, so what, you don't make it out the first time, you can just keep trying. Completionist, complete all extinction challenges and escape. So now we're going against a clock and having to do challenges and escape. Which also you gotta make it to the cabin. Cabin fever. Make it to the cabin's the next one. Maybe a safe house kind of thing. Halfway point. But you you can also make it to the city. So that you have different paths you can choose go one way to the cabin one way to the city um, any means necessary get 50 kills with the electric fence and fire trap in a single game and that's the biggest one for points so we are gonna end up having some kind of you know fire trap um, other weapons that we can fight with Kind of, you know, zombies had different things in the prison, different traps. This one's going to have kind of the same thing as well, it looks like. Trash picker, scavenge 40 items in a single game. And that to me sounds like we're not going to be buying ammo off the walls like you do in zombies. It kind of sounds like you kill an alien and they might drop, or they will drop, a little scavenger package like you do in the multiplayer games if you have that perk equipped. Um, the last one is called Throttled Escape. Escape using a relic. So you have multiple ways to escape. You can get to the X-File chopper. That'll help escape and end the game. You can use a relic. Maybe that just means that you escape from where you are at that point and you go to a different part of the map where there aren't any aliens and it doesn't end the game but you still have to get to the chopper maybe you backtrack a little bit using the relic I can't wait to find out I am so excited to play this I usually don't like zombies but this sounds totally different and I, I'm pumped I cannot wait so let me know in the comments if you can't wait and enjoy. so let me know in the comments you're as excited as I am. See ya.